though. I hope this video finds you doing quite well today. I feel like if you're here watching this, then you've probably done okay. Because you're here. <laughs> Thanks for being here. So, welcome to my home and welcome to my sacred space. I am Olivia and this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia. We're doing your daily pick meditation. Usually I have four cards, but today I have, or piles of, yeah, four cards. Today I have three piles. Um, so you can choose from the Monopoly toppers. I have a green one, a purple one, and a blue one. And just so you know, there are lots of ways that you can connect with me on other excuse me, on other social media platforms. All you have to do is click on my link tree in the description of this video and it will take you wherever you want to go, including my webpage if you were wanting to um, set up an appointment for a private reading. It's very helpful to me if you like this video, which means gives me a thumbs up and come back sometime. It's fun when you come back every day because I do these daily. But it's perfectly fine for you to check in whenever you're feeling the need to check in and have your have your cards read. So thanks to every one of you that comes by. These are little general readings. Of course, this is much more complex and much more um, detailed when I do a private personal reading. So if you need to pause the video in order to uh, pick your pile, please go ahead and do so at this time because I am going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start with the green pile and I will have time stamps below so that we can know what we're talking about. So here's the, it, this, they, they're just car toppers. We're not really going to talk about Monopoly today, except for one thing that when I was a kid, rather than Monopoly, we played something we called Monopolop. That was a differently ruled game. More attuned to our family. <laughs> and one of the rules was, if you don't get caught cheating, it's not cheating. <laughs> Okay, so you have several cards today. So you have, I stand strong in the face of arrogant and aggressive people. You also have the offering. I think this is my, my pile today. But then you also have the, why have you, what's going on with you? Why are you so afraid to see what you need to see? Why are you so scared? Because it's scary, right? Okay, so the Nine of Swords um, really stands for um, being like, kind of like being caught in a bad dream or even like in reality, just having to overcome little trials and tribulations and again and again and again. Um, sometimes it has to do with choosing not to see danger. I think this is more of dealing with little troubles. Just dealing with it, dealing with it, dealing with it, and still having more little things come up until you're just throwing up your arms. You're tired. You just don't even want to see anymore. Don't even want to do anymore. So take your break. And hopefully you will be able to get past this because we have the offering coming up. And the offering is our wild archetype card. And basically, it's everything you think when you hear offering. It's about volunteering. It's about uh, offering your time. It's about offering your assistance. It's about, to me, it's like one of the knight's cards. It's, it's about, um, in, in the wild archetypes book, they mention the similarity between the sacred and the, oh, I lost it, the sacred and the s sacrifice. So this is, this is about giving. 
This is about giving of yourself. And that's what it's about. So giving of yourself, standing tall in the face of arrogant people and dealing with all these little deep little things that you have to deal with. That really does. <laughs> it just really does sound like a very busy card. And it sounds like some people's lives that I know that have children, go to church, help the people around them. I don't want you to overdo it because you have this nine of swords cards. I really before you go offering things and before you stand up to arrogant, aggressive people, I would really like to see you take the time to figure out what this is and and deal with that. At least be able to take your hands off your eyes so that you can see better. I'm not saying to just toss these cards away, uh, but this is really important. If you're feeling like this, I really... Uh, <laughs> It's not often I pull the cards and say ignore the cards. I'm not really saying that. I'm just saying deal with this first. Let's read the back of your arrogance card. Arrogance is merely another face of fear. Without fear, there would be no need for arrogance. I really like that statement on the back because it really helps. Uh, it really helps me when it comes to arrogance. Uh, I, I have... I had some dealings with arrogant people, let's just say. Let's just leave it at that. We're going to move on to the purple pile. So if you had the purple Monopoly debit card, then we are going to turn over your cards and look and see what you have today. You have, I am constantly evolving into a more spiritual person. Oh, and you have the K's and you have the Nine of Rods. Those all just go really well together. So the Nine of Rods Here she is. She's standing ready and brave. She's she's pretty much ready for anything. This card stands for strength, energy, and willpower. It also stands for a defense. Um, but we're not going to worry about that aspect of the card right now because we also have the cave. And I don't know if you remember, we had the cave before. And the cave is basically a place that you go in meditation, in dreams, in your mind's eye. There are many ways to get there to your own personal spiritual cave. This is the place where you go purposely where you envision a place that's safe to be to practice your spirituality, a place where you can be vulnerable, like your own personal cave. And you go there to meet your spirit guides. And you go there to gain spiritual strength. And you go there to learn more about yourself. And then... Um, constantly evolving into a more spiritual person and we have if you're evolving into a more loving more compassionate less violent person then you're moving in the right direction oh I love that because you know what in my old age I did stop my violence factor went way down actually I had to work really hard on that uh, as a young parent I had to uh uh, I took myself to classes. That's how I met the Quakers, nonviolent training. Um, I did not want to spank my kids and then suddenly find myself with kids that need to go to the hospital. Um, so basically, you have a really good... Uh, I know, that's a lot to say and then just move on. <clears throat> I did learn. My kids weren't spanked. Um so basically you have what you need to start a spiritual journey. It could be the beginning of a big spiritual journey. Or it just could be a journey for today. Since this is a daily reading, I would say don't bite off more than you can chew. If you haven't found your cave yet, if you haven't envisioned your cave, maybe that's, maybe that's what you need to do today. Maybe that's what it's all about. So we are going to move on to the blue. If you chose the blue monopoly, 
Oh yeah, we called it Monopoly too, the Monopoly game that my family had. We had to change the name, but so many rules were changed. And we were always making new rules too. The rules would change during a game. That's not right, is it? I didn't think so then either. Okay, let's look at your cards. You have, I am not affected by the negative emotions of others. Let's go ahead and read the back. Continue to listen, to learn, and to love, even when someone else is angry, hurt, or fearful. And then you have the comic card, which is a whole like a whole lot to me. It's a whole lot like the fool card in the tarot. <clears throat> only with a cat instead of a dog. <laughs> so this is kind of a, a follow your bliss card, but it's also to um, to find humor in situations. So it's a little it's a little different than our fool card. And then you have the seven of cups, and as you can see, that's just a very beautiful, cheerful card. It has a lot to do with. <coughs> Excuse me. Working together with other people. It has a lot to do with art. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I bumped the camera. What is going on? What is going on? There we go. Music and dance and seeing things clearly. Rebirth and cleansing and manifesting what you want with humor and knowing that you don't have to let negative emotions of others affect you. This looks like a really good day card. It's like it's saying go off, go do your job, go enjoy yourself, enjoy your creativity, um, be funny. It takes a really intelligent person to make other people laugh without putting somebody down. So that's a challenge you might have today. And you actually get the honor of having the very um, most positive reading in this group today. Um, and we've pretty much come to the end. And I know it's been short and sweet. We do them short and sweet sometimes. And it's always hard to say goodbye because I really enjoy doing this thing for you guys. Um, as few as come are as many as come. So if I get if I get 20, 30 views today, I'll be so happy. If I get three views today, I'll be so happy because three of you came to watch. So yeah, come anytime you want. Come intermittently. Come every day. I appreciate every single one of you. But when you do come, when you do watch a video, do hit that thumbs up button because that helps me out a lot. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.